Hey guys, I hope you all are doing absolutely fine at home. You're not traveling right now. Obviously, you cannot travel right now, but maybe you're learning something at home or maybe just having a good time with your family. Like I'm having a really good time with my family. You know, just because of coronavirus, they are staying here. You know, they had the flight on the same day the lockdown was announced. And because of that, they're just staying here and it feels home. You know, I used to live alone, but now it's been a long time with my family and uh, it's a really good time and i wish you are having a good time with your family too now let's talk about today's video now it's been long time i have uploading only travel videos on my youtube channel and i have been learning like a lot of new things while editing my videos so i thought why not to share with you which is i'm going to do today i'm going to share one simple technique with you which can save you a lot of time trust me when i say this by the end of this video you will realize that you will actually save a lot of time now let's see you edit your videos for youtube or maybe for some client in 16 by 9 ratio which is the standard one or maybe in 2 by 1 ratio now your client wants to edit your videos for instagram post and instagram stories as well or maybe you just want to post the same youtube video on instagram in instagram post like in 4 by 5 ratio or maybe in 9 by 16 ratio so what you will generally do in that case you will go clip by clip and reframe it accordingly for the ratio let's say for 4 by 5 ratio maybe 9 by 16 ratio then you will put your custom setting while exporting the video for instagram story or instagram post and that's gonna take a lot of time now what if i tell you there is one trick in premiere pro that will do the job for you it will automatically reframe it everything for you in 4 by 5 ratio or maybe 9 by 16 ratio and that's what i'm going to show you how you can do it so let's go to premiere pro and let's see how to do it okay guys so this is let's say your main sequence and these are all the clips in 16 by 9 let me show you in the sequence settings sequence settings this is vertical 16 by 9 and this is your main sequence as you can see here as well now notice this clip as well this is on the side and we want to crop it just in the middle so what we'll do here is for instagram let's go here click this auto reframe sequence and once you will do that you will see that it is square 4 by 5 vertical 9 by 16 so for instagram post select 4 by 5 and keep it default don't do anything just create whoa it's done guys within seconds it's done and it has auto reframed everything as you can see here see this is it's changing automatically it has created key points for every clip so that our main subject is in the middle see how its values are changing every clip will be in the middle automatically for this clip as well see that it's the value is 570 the default value would be 90, 960 so this is the value but it has reframed it for every clips see the last clip as well it's in the middle and the value here is 96 isn't it just magic i mean it's done automatically you just have to now export the video let's go here and export media and select the value here as 16 total bitrate i always select 16 and hit export you are done you can upload it on instagram just right now <laughs> now let's create the sequence for instagram story as well hit here main sequence auto reframe settings simple select 9 by 16 and hit create it's done guys you don't need to do anything hit export media 16 by 9 and export done super easy <laughs> So guys that's it from the video i hope you learned something out of it and if you did hit a like button on the video and let me know in the comments below what you think about it and i'll share some tips and tricks in the future video and let me know in the comments below what are your topics you want me to cover and i'll try to do this time so with that said guys i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye Thanewal.